Bob, do you want to go fishing? Or are you very busy sleeping? You want to catch big spots? It's day two on Lunaire, and a lot of things have happened. So, first day, kind of rough, you know, like we caught some small ones, but really didn't dial it in. Got to fish with Tim for a bit, gave us a bunch of tips, but let me tell you what happened yesterday. So we ran the Gambler Free Tournament. I'll basically you throw Gambler only baits on Lake Lunaire. 23 and a half pounds of spots won. That is probably the most epic bag of spots I will ever see in my life. Dude, he had like a 5.18, it was giant, caught all on an ace. So I've dialed in my setups, we're gonna go through those in a minute, but we're day two of me fishing. I'm gonna throw a little caveat in there. We snuck out for a couple hours yesterday, um, kind of in the middle of the tournament, me, my buddy Kobe, and BVD, uh, another buddy of mine, and we caught like 17, 18 pounds of spots, all on neds, pretty much. We caught one on a swim bait, but what we think is kind of starting to happen, and Tim kind of indicated this, these fish are starting to move into spawn. And the fish that we caught were in like four to six on that Ned fishing super slow, like straight up spawners. So I'm super excited to be out here today. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you like these like intense lake breakdowns. I'm no pro, I'm not amazing or anything. I learn a few things, I try to share them with you. I try to have a lot of fun like fishing because I absolutely love this. It's the only place I'm totally 100% happy. If I'm on a boat, on a lake, or on a bank with a fishing rod in my hand. And if you're like that, hit that like and subscribe. But let me show you what we got rigged up. So basically, I got quite a few variations of a Ned. I got the Nichols, I got the Power Ned. Basically, like we talked about, Power Ned's gonna go in more tree stuff. Nichols is gonna be more like dragging open water. I got a little pitching jig, and then I got a wacky rig stick bait with a little Nico head in there with a basically like a nail weight. And I can use that to fish brush. I can use that to fish open flats. It has a lot of versatility. I got what Tim recommended, which is this guy. I really wanna catch one on this guy. That's that new, or not new, but sweet baits. It's a custom swim bait with a little plastic fluke tail. Um, of course, a 110 plus one. My buddy also, he gave me one of these jokers because I couldn't get one. It's the OG um, flat side, the, the new Rapala. I got a little easy with a, what is it? A Kashira head, Yakashira. Shira, yeah, excuse my lack of cultural appropriation because I don't know what the hell it's called. But, um, and then I got a little Kai Tech on a quarter ounce. I'm probably gonna go up to a little easy. So the other factor is too, and we talked about it on day one, is it's been cold. So you can tell I'm all bundled up. This morning there was still frost. So basically, the mornings have been cold. Last night was a little bit more mild. It was like 40 some degrees. Wow, that's, that's a big. Just suspended out here. And that's that's actually what's happening. So there's still some fish that are out. There's some fish that are spawning. Everything is happening. It's the epic time of spring, but it's cold in the morning. So we're gonna kind of hop around and I think the best bite's gonna happen one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon. And that's something actually you can probably apply to your legs, dude. This is the one time of year when either come out dead early, catch that super early first hour in the morning. Otherwise sleep in, eat breakfast, chill out, watch some TV and then come out at like noon. 11 o'clock because the sun warms up the water and these jokers get crazy. But come along with me. We're going to go try to catch some Magnum Lake Lanier spots. Fish on. And it's a big one. On the net. Just got a little Ned and we found this little, I found it with my buddy Kobe and BVD and um, it just, there's some big ones on this little bar thing. It's kind of like a, like a saddle style deal. And I don't know if they're spawning or what. But this one is pretty decent, pretty decent. Come here. 
It's a nice way to start the day, wouldn't you say? <laughs> nice little spot. But they, they're barely eating it, which makes me wonder if they're kind of spawning. Oh, uh oh, there she is. That's a big one. She's running straight at me. That's a big spot. And he is very angry. I don't know if I got a good hook in him, though. Oh, dear. Look at that spot, dude. Stay out of the trolling motor. Dude, he just grabbed it and ran away. Yeah, you know what? This is a perfect example. So this fish was hooked in the head just like that. And that means I'm 90% sure they're spawning because they're they're swatting at the bait and not quite eating it. But they're like, they're just, oh, they're so angry. They're just swatting it. <laughs> I don't care. This is so cool. Guys, you can see them suspended right there. They're just off this little like island point, but you can see it. there's another one. I gotta back off and throw to these fish with like a swim bait because they're down a little bit deeper. See them on the structure scan? And see them right there. Yeah, there's another one. Go come on. Same spot. Same spot catching spots. This one doesn't feel as big. But you can never tell, dude. <laughs> so cool, these spots in this clear water. Oh, come here. Come yeah, he's a little bit smaller. But dude, they're all so fat. Look at that. Yeah, Bog, you like that? Leave him alone. He's trying to, trying to spawn and do his thing, and you're harassing him. Nice little spot. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh, when that drag goes, dude, it is cool. We're gonna pick up this uh, this sweet baits bait and throw it right in that same place and see if the, there's a big one. Oh dear, oh dear, they're they're schooling a little bit. Oh, he missed it. There he got it. That's a big one on the sweet baits. Oh, dude, this is so cool. Dude, they're schooling all over the place, and I can't do anything about it. Dude, I, I slung that sweet bait's out there in that exact same place, that big swim bait, and just started kind of waking it and reeling, and she came up and wagacked it. Look at that spot, dude. We got to get the net. Look up, Bob. We got to get the net. Dude, she ate it. Come here. Come here, come here. <laughs> you like that fog? You like that fog? I, hey, hey, be careful. There's hooks there. Oh my God. We gotta get her back, but dude, this spot, this bait, <laughs> look at how cool it is. Let's get her back to, it's like a three and a half pounder, dude. <laughs> I mean, that is awesome. All right, back you go. Guys, they started schooling and it's still early in the morning and I caught a few on a net. And all of a sudden they got fired up and they're swirling over there. We're going to throw this thing back and maybe get out of top water and try to trick a few. What do you think, Bog? Was that pretty cool? <laughs> yeah, it was a big swim baits. Big bass. That was a pretty cool way to start the day, dude. We, we caught one on the sweet face. That thing is the coolest bait. I don't know if I can explain it to you really clearly, but like, so a lot of these swim baits, like the Sabeel, they, they swim with their head. Um, this guy swims with its tail. Like it's it's very, the only way to understand it, I think I put up a video hanging out with Tim in, the, in day one, and we looked at the action. It has a very unique action. And the fish that I caught, I was actually burning it. Um, I saw a couple fish schooling back behind, and I kind of waked it, and, and that fish blew up on it basically, or got under it and kind of smashed it. I really wish I would have had like 30 more seconds because I think I could have caught a few more. Because you get, what I'm starting to notice on, on Lanier is you get these little windows, and some Sometimes it has to do with the wind. Sometimes it has to do with like these fish, how they how they ball up the herring in that. And you'll see like all of a sudden they'll be schooling or you'll see a bunch of like bait activity. This is a, a little island thing, like a submerged island because the water's a little up with like a rock bar. You, all of a sudden you'll see like a ball of bait like just scatter across and you know there's a little pot of fish. Ball. Oh, hey, bog. 
you, you enjoying this fishing? I gotta shoot this video, bro. But I'm noticing that you get these little windows. So it, the one confusing part is how much time do you spend on some of these spots? Cause you're fishing points. You're fishing these little saddle things that they call blow throughs, even brush piles, because you might be there for five minutes and 10 minutes later, they go crazy. So let's do a little spot breakdown. Thus far, what's been most successful, and this actually we kind of figured out yesterday and Tim kind of indicated it from Hammonds. Uh, you find kind of like a, a saddle like this. You can see on my C-map, we got like an island. Ironically, it's submerged because the water's up, but you got these kind of little saddles and oftentimes there's hard bottom in between. So what you do is you kind of fish that little saddle, you know, fish the point, maybe fish the, the other point that's on that side. I'll scroll this out a little bit. The other point on that side and one of two things is going to happen either those fish are staging they're kind of on the deeper breaks because you can see it kind of it ledges down on each side right there and that's where we caught a lot of our fish yesterday all is on that that breakdown you notice i marked one right there there's a bunch of suspended fish right there that i cannot catch to save my life but then what they'll do is they'll shift up to that that little bar and it's a perfect place to spawn so you got kind of, you're killing two birds with one stone. You can kind of work your way in, hit that edge, and then push in and, and maybe get lucky and catch some spawning fish. But we're gonna hop a few more spots and see if we can't find some more fish. Big one or oh man, that's a big spot. Dude, he freaking fungal dunked it. I don't know if I gotta get a hook in him. Don't come off. He fungal dunked it. Oh god, that is a monster freaking spot, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, he came up and just annihilated that bait. Look at that spot. All right, we gotta get the net pole. That's a netable spot. <laughs> Dude, look at the look out, Paul. He doesn't like that. I don't know if that fish was on a bed or what, but that is. A four and a half pound spot, dude. Look at that thing. Dude, look at that thing. Look at the belt. Oh, gosh. All right, let's get you back. Go back down where you go. Once again, I'm just on this little saddle. I actually, um, I fished over there. I saw a couple blow up, but didn't get a bite. And basically, these saddles have kind of two points to them. They have one on that side, one on this side. And dude, that thing, I mean, crushed the swim bait. I had no idea it was coming. It wasn't just weight or anything like that. It was like, hey, that's mine, give it to me. But just slow rolling that swim bait. It, it's a technique, you know, you gotta kind of dial it in. You know, you'll have a guy who you're fishing with or a gal, whatever, and they might be catching them and you might not. Watch how they're reeling it. It's something that you gotta play with a bit because there is a cadence to it. It's kind of letting the, ball, the bait kind of slowly fall slow reeling it and then letting it fall it's this sort of suspended swim bait style deal and i'd really recommend i'm doing it on a, a 610 ks2 um i really like the spinning rod it has kind of a fast tip but it's it's not parabolic but it bends a little i call it maybe like a moderate fast to a fast um it it just has the right kind of feel but just get yourself a spinning rod 15 pound braid eight pound leader 10 pound if you're on some bigger fish or a little bit dirtier water and, and slang it out there. It is a fun way to catch them. Light line, finesse, big bass. Oh my God, he missed it again. Ah, dude, they're just so stacked up in such a small place. Got him that time. That's another good one. Oh dear. Just letting it sit down there and they chew it. This one ain't moving very much. These things are so strong. Come here, my friend. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, and there's one with them. There was one with them. Oh my gosh, I wish I had somebody with me because they could go and hook that one. 
Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I got you. Dude, nice two and a half pound spot. I think I just missed video of another one that I caught off of here. But uh, basically, just that's cool. And I'm using the smaller Ned because I'm on open water. It's got a little smaller hook. I miss them a little bit less. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scooch up onto this wood and skip that power net. We'll hopefully catch five out here. But one thing I wanna note is there's like a little 20 foot square of gravel that I'm catching. I fish this whole stretch, but right here, there's just this little rock bar and it's super small, you know? It's like this, this little thing and I'll throw out there, I'll kind of dead stick and shake that net. And they're very, it's interesting because you could roll up and blaze through this and never know they're there, but they're in these small places. They're definitely spawning because they're swatting at the bait. But you just throw it out there, dead stick it. You find that kind of like rocky gravel stuff and you got to believe that they're there. <laughs> it's awesome. We've caught uh, one almost like a four pounder, one probably three and a half or so, and then that one two and a half or so. Maybe there's some more big ones. Got him that time. That's a giant. And then he runs straight at the boat. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Stay on there. They get hooked so funny when they when they're on beds like this. Oh come here, come here, come here. Please come here. Please come here. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. <sighs> it's another three pounder. That's a long one, dude. Oh man. Look at that thing. This is so cool. Same spot. Let me let her go real quick. Same spot. Dead sticking when you least expect it. So you can see I dropped the beanie and I got a hat on. It went from all flame and fire to, I don't know, like I struggled the past couple of hours pretty much. Like I, I caught like a two and a half a little while ago, but those little pods of fish I'm not getting on. Let me show you something. See how green and kind of, it's not nasty, but like, this water is just super green. There's a bunch of pollen in it. And I'm, I've been playing around going like up creeks a little bit and the water's dirtier. And usually I think that's a good thing, but the little pattern that I've found with this like rock on these little shoals on the, like the, the saddles and stuff like that, I think it really needs like pretty clear water and that, that only exists on the main lake. So I, I'm getting in a bit of a funk. So I'm gonna kind of reframe things. I'm gonna get back out on the main lake I'm going to look for some more stuff that that sets up the way that uh, the, the two spots where I caught fish on because the trick is I might not catch fish on all of them but it seems like if I can find one or two more like they're stacked I know I can go back to those two spots and catch more fish and more fish are going to come up and spawn but they're kind of unique you know they have that little rock rubble deal on the corners of them but I, I'm just losing confidence in what I'm doing so I got to refocus get back out do what I think is going to work we got one more or a day and a half more more after this so i can play around with new stuff but right now there's fish spawning i need to do what works and uh ned dick around because <laughs> they're chewing it dude get out of there that's a big one stay out of that tree I might even be a large mouth. Stay out of that tree. That's the power. <laughs> and that is a giant freaking spot, dude. Dude, he annihilated it. Look up, Bob. We gotta get this one. I bet you she's on bed. That hey, move, please. Move. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. That's that's a monster spot. Oh, oh, oh. That's another four pounder. We have struggled to get bites, dude. <laughs> Look at that bogger. It's been kind of a struggle, but we just caught a big one. Again on the net. I have a bunch of confidence in it, so I like throwing it. But the whole little bar with the gravel thing, it kind of dried up. I don't know if there's other places where I need to be looking and they're not and they're there and they're spawning and maybe I beat up the stuff that I got, but it ain't happening, so we're actually fishing one of those bars right back there, and there's this giant tree in the water. We got two more right here, but I'm gonna walk back here and kind of show you guys what, what we did. 
this is an example when I take that power net or if you got like a jig or something and it's kind of an on the way out cast but you see how that tree sticks underwater right there well it juts out to about six foot and I just skipped it next to the limbs and a lot of times I don't care if it's largemouth or spots or whatever they'll bed at the base of those those trees just because they want something that that blocks like a side uh, Tim was actually talking to me about it where like they'll use like dock posts and they'll use it to just block one side of the bed and then I've seen it up north I've seen it on Gunnersville they'll use like eelgrass to you know block a side of the bed or block as much of the bed as they can while still getting sun and it's just one of those things it's I guess it's adaptive behavior to kind of protect that bed protect the eggs protect those those spawning fish but let's get this guy released it's a, it's a good one dude we're actually working on a pretty good bag right here come here yeah, that that right there is a Lake Lanier spot, dude. Like, look at that thing. All right, let's get her back into this beautiful water. We got three more trees to hit. See you later. We're gonna hit these couple more trees, and um, I gotta put a new uh, new ace on my on my Ned. But just a green pumpkin ace power Ned. Kind of skip it in. I gotta play with my drag though, cause that choker almost didn't come out. Oh dear. That's a giant. Dude, he freaking nailed it. I wasn't even ready for it there. That's a good one. Can't I step on those rod guides anymore. I thought he was a lot bigger than that one. It's just again on the net. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> he got a lot smaller as he got to the boat. The way that thing ate that bait, I thought that thing was a monster. See you later, homie. We're gonna throw back there though. There might be a, his girlfriend might be there. That's day two on Lanier, gentlemen. What do you think of Lanier, Bog? You like Lanier? Yes, Bog. Lanier is awesome. We got one more or a day and a half more. Uh, don't know what's gonna happen video wise. Today, recap, just to cap things off. Things changed a lot. I caught the majority of my fish all this morning up until about noon or so. And then all of a sudden, when I thought they'd really start spawning, I stopped catching fish. Uh, what changed too is there was a lot more boat traffic. It churned up the water, and I think that water clarity really plays a role in where I'm catching them spawning because it's a little bit deeper. It's like four to eight, four to ten. Uh, so with that churned up water, I don't think they're going to spawn that deep because uh, there's just a lot of boat traffic. It's the weekend. That's what happens. I started catching a couple. I caught one big one, like a three and a half, almost four off a tree, uh, skipping a net. And then I caught some other little ones doing that. So that's something I'm going to keep in the back of my head. I might need to kind of change my focus tomorrow and move more towards like docks and um, cover, I guess. But cover that also like at the tip of a tree, that bass could be spawning, that bass could be using it as cover. So. What's kind of cool though is I pushed into the back of some creeks today, like way back, and I broke off one good one, and then I actually saw a largemouth on a bed, and I saw like a three pound largemouth cruising around under a dock in six foot of water. So there's something happening there, and that's gonna be something to explore. The only difficulty with that stuff is, I don't know this lake very well, and you need to literally run to the backs of things, and you end up burning a lot of gas and a lot of time, and it can either pay off or not. So we'll see kind of how we approach that. We're gonna dabble in that a little bit tomorrow. But overall, it's been that swim bait, the other swim bait, that sweet bait. Sorry, Bog, I'm gonna sit on you. Or that sweet bait's right there, my little Kitex setup. And then it's Ned City boys, but that's that's a spawning deal, dude. You always want to have a Ned tied up when they're spawning or when they're staging and moving into spawn. And this sets up perfect because there's little pieces of rock, little chunk rock, and like clay banks and stuff. And it's not too clingy, but then you got the trees and you can skip that power net in. Otherwise, I can use that nickels. But it, it, the lake sets up really good for some some Ned fishing, and you don't miss them all too much. But that is something that happened to me today. I think some of these spawning fish are biting the bait really weird. I missed like probably seven or eight fish and especially the ones this morning they were decent so I, I missed some opportunities and I don't know why I didn't do anything wrong um, they, they just bite it weird like I had one fish hooked outside the mouth and that fish came from like six seven feet of water so I, I know he's spawning I know they're biting weird it's just something we're gonna have to deal with I'm excited about what's gonna happen tomorrow because we're gonna try some different stuff but bog like 
You are such a trip. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. This is real fishing videos. I literally came out to Lanier, ran the Gamble Free Turn where I helped to run it, and uh, just trying to like learn and catch some fish and share it with you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. If you don't, hit that thumbs down. If you do, hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. But we're out, we're going back to the, the hotel. We're gonna grab some Subway, eat some, uh, feed the dog. You wanna eat? Yeah, you didn't eat this morning. But yeah, another day in the water, another day in paradise. Catch you later.